challenge of facing three times, or the same team three times in a week like you did with them? I don't know. It's not much of a challenge, I don't think. It's probably better. Like At least you know what's coming. So I, I didn't think that was a challenge. Challenge has been the 16 games in the month of March. That's been the challenge. And, you know, we've played the most games since the All-Star break. So, you know, we were, I don't know, we, we had multiple games in hands on teams, and now those same teams have multiple games in hands on us. So it's uh, it's been a tough stretch for the boys. But, I, I don't know, three and five nights, it's not a challenge. It's the same team. Is that what kind Probably of makes it easier, to be honest. Is that what kind of leans to some of these, like, five to seven minute stretches where the team just kind of gets away from you too quick? Oh, I don't know. You, that happens in games when you play somebody for the first time in four months. I'm sorry, like the 16 games you played. Mm, I don't know. We just put it in a nutshell. I really liked our first period, and I like probably the first eight minutes of the seven minutes of the second period. We had the game under control. You know, we scored that second goal when they they'd had a couple chances, and we come back and score that second goal. It's two nothing, and then. Probably a little inexcusable to give a goal up off a face off right away. That should have never happened, and that just kind of triggered their momentum. And then they rolled, and then it was just senseless turnovers and managing the puck. I mean, we couldn't get through the neutral zone, and it wasn't. I'm, Jersey didn't reinvent the wheel. Like we just smashed the wheel ourselves. It was it was horrendous, and uh, they just ended up in the back of our net. And all of a sudden, now you're up two nothing, down three two in a span of six minutes and uh, they started feeling it and we weren't and that was it. The second periods this year, is that anything that has you concerned or is this just a, uh, just a couple of games? I don't know. I could give you a bunch of second periods that we've just completely leaned on teams. So it's 82 games. So we're not going to dominate every game. And it's, uh, you know, we've been on the right side of a lot of games more than and not. And, um, you know, it, this is disappointing because I just hate the way the game played out because I thought we were our worst enemy, and then we gave a pretty young, fast-skilled team a lot of energy, and they were feeling it, and that was it for us. But, you know, if I'm going to big picture this and sit here and say we played Jersey three times in five nights and got four or six points, then we're taking that. If you ask me that at the beginning, but, you know, you get four, you want to be a little greedy and give Jersey credit. They lost three straight, and... uh you know, they blew a 2 nothing lead in the third period last night, so they came out a little hungry, and credit to them and their coach for having them going, and we laid an egg for the last half a period. John, what effect does it have on a team, though, when, like you said, that, that goal right after you guys go up 2 nothing on that next shift? Well, it shouldn't have any effect, but it did tonight. But it, like I said, it had happened a shift or two before we scored. They were, you know, buzzing around a little bit, and so you think, you know, you get that second goal, should, it should have worked in our favor, but credit to them. They scored right away, and, you know, we made a couple poor plays there, and they scored. So um, what should have been a positive swing for us actually turned into a negative. A number of video tributes over the years, but tonight just seemed a little bit different. Yeah, these are tough. Oh, my God. They're just you're like an emotional train wreck. Uh, it's pretty cool, though, because it fosters up a ton of great memories and uh, how important uh, Pally was uh, to this organization, and uh, I, I forgot it, it was in the upper 700s of games he played for us, and the countless playoff games, and you know he rose a couple, you know raised a couple of cups with us. He's, uh, you've heard me say this a ton. There's a lot of great players have wheeled through this organization, but uh, if you talk about importance to a franchise and what they brought uh, during the biggest, in the biggest times and biggest games and the biggest moments. You know, that was Andre Platt. The, the rotation you've been doing with the defense here, where maybe a couple guys sit out, like what's what's the hope here and the accomplishment that you want to get from having that rotation? We're trying to find some synergy, but most importantly, we're trying to win games. That's it. What do you say to the guy? You just mentioned the schedule, but this week still doesn't really let up. Because oh, no, this, well, no we're, we're in it. Like, <laughs> this isn't let, like, that's why it's not an excuse. All the teams are playing a bunch of games. Um, but it's it's just been this little stretch after the All Star games, it's uh, and it wasn't it didn't get helped out by the added game b because of the postponement in Buffalo, so that added to that string of back to backs for us. But we just got to weather our way through it, and uh, we've you know, I think before tonight we 
I don't know, Eric, you're going to get me, but like, I think we'd had 11 or 14 points or something. So, um, a little hiccup here, but let's, you know, strap the boots back on and go to Montreal and get some more points.